Hello newly aspiring game developers! In the previous video, we compared the two most popular game engines, Unity and Unreal Engine. In this video, we'll be installing the Unity game engine and get you started with the fascinating journey ahead of you. So let's get right into that. To install Unity, head over to Unity's official website and perform a slight click on the plans and pricing. Then put in your bank details and pay $2,000 annually. Or I suppose you could get the personal plan until you're making more than 100k a year. Here we can see the download link. I'm on Windows so it's giving me a link for the Windows version. If you're on Mac, it will say download for Mac. This is not Unity itself. It's the installer for Unity Hub. Unity Hub will manage all your Unity projects, it'll handle installing different versions of Unity and adding modules to them. When the download has finished, open the file and after reading the terms of service, go through the rest of the installation process. Now we have Unity Hub welcoming us with open arms and asking us to sign in. So let's go ahead and create an account. In the download page, at the top right corner, we're going to create a new Unity ID. I'm sure you're smart enough to fill in the details without the need for a walkthrough, and then once again, you see it says required, so read the terms of service. Then trick the website into thinking you're not robots from Black Mirror, and create the account. Now you need to activate your account by getting the email verification code and then you can sign into your account. Once you're done with that, head over to Unity Hub and push the sign in button and sign into your account. You will probably encounter a welcome page of some sort, but since I've already got a couple of projects and Unity versions on my computer, I cannot show you how to hit the X button on that. Here you can see we have four tabs. Learn and community you'll probably never use, Installs contains all the Unity versions on your computer and is where we're going to install a new version from. Here again, we have three tabs. Official releases, pre-releases aka where you can get the alpha and beta versions from, and archive for older versions. Let's go with an official release and you can see it says this particular 2022 version is the recommended one, even though there is a 2023 version. But who are we to question the geniuses at Unity Technologies? Let's go with that and here we've got all the modules we can add to our editor. We've got Visual Studio, which we definitely want. We've got build supports, for now I'm only going to install Windows build support. You can of course add modules to your editor later on as well, so don't worry much about it now. Install Windows only and later if you want to build for Android for example, you can come to your installs page and easily add that module to your editor. Then we have language packs and documentation which isn't that important. So we've got Visual Studio and Windows build support. Continue. Don't forget to read the Visual Studio terms of service and hit install. After the download is finished, it's going to start installing. This might take a minute. Tomorrow. Okay, today is tomorrow, it installed the editor and now we're gonna install Visual Studio. Don't forget to read the terms of service and continue. And would you look at that, after all that downloading and installing, it's again downloading something to install the installer. It's like it's stalling. Get it? Cause Attention developers, we are here with you with a commercial break. If you are enjoying the video so far, consider dropping a few dollars over at our Patreon at patreon.com slash golden devs to support the channel in creating these high quality videos. In other news, we've got about 99% of the viewers not subscribed. And I kid you not, you do not want to be one of them. Hit the subscribe button and get the bell ringing. Okay, we've got the installer. Now for the modules we need for our Visual Studio. By continuing, you agree to the license, gotta read that. For the modules, we are only going to need game development with Unity. And over here, we don't need Unity Hub as we already have that. And hit install. Uncheck the start after installation, and it's gonna take a while again. And we've got Visual Studio 2022. You can close the installer and we're all done with the installation of Unity and Visual Studio. 
There is one last thing we have to do though. And lucky you, it's inside the editor itself. So we have to go through how to create a new project. In the last tab, projects, you can see and manage all your Unity projects. If you don't have any, yours may or may not look a little different from mine, but fear not as I'm sure there must be a new project button somewhere. Now we've got all these fancy templates you can choose from, some of which are particularly good for prototyping or exploring and learning. But frankly, you're only gonna go for Core 2D and 3D for the rest of your life. Let's select 2D, give the project a name and a destination, not gonna need cloud saving or version control, and hit create. Many unbearable hours later. We've got the project. Now under Edit, Preferences, over at External Tools, you're gonna want to set the external script editor to Visual Studio. If it's not on the list, you can hit Browse and find it. After you're done with that, let's see if things work as they should. Inside the Project tab, right-click, Create, c -sharp Script, and open it. Open in Visual Studio, all good. This is our first time opening Visual Studio, so it's asking for our email. We'll politely reject it. You can go ahead and put it in, I don't care about it right now. And we've got the customization. Leave the first one on general, and for the love of God, pick the dark theme. Let's close this and get our script from the Solution Explorer, or reopening the script from the Unity Editor. Now for the final thing, you want to make sure Visual Studio understands keywords that are specific to Unity. To do that, type in game object or rigid body or on trigger. If a window pops up with the full name of what you're trying to type, you're all set up. If not, you messed up somewhere along the way. Good luck finding where. Just kidding. If you have any confusions or questions or problems in your hands, join our Discord server and me or someone else in the community will help you out. Link in the description. But the truth is that all of this is going to be worth nothing if you don't actually know how to make games. And that is exactly why I have put together a complete beginner's guide for game development with the Unity Game Engine completely for free. And this video is the first episode in the series and I will see you there.